everyone, my name's Corinne Lee and I am that girl that co-founded Threadbanger, the largest sewing and crafting channel here on YouTube. I'm a self-taught camera woman and editor, I've worked extensively in Haiti, lived on buses that run on recycled vegetable oil, and have actually been posting videos here on YouTube since 2006. One of my biggest passions is getting more women involved in the world of video making. So today, I'm going to give you some pointers on how to make good YouTube videos. This is not going to be a video on how to shoot in a fancy studio or use special effects. There's already a slew of videos that exist here on YouTube to learn those types of things. This is going to be a video on how to shoot and upload simple videos from your home. Alright, let's get started. So, in my opinion, the two most important things in making video are sound and lighting. This may seem obvious, but over the past five years, we've received countless videos from the Threadbanger community. And I can't begin to tell you how many times we weren't able to use a video because either the sound didn't work or the lighting was so dark you couldn't even see the person. Lighting tips. Number one, make sure you're not backlit. Don't stand with your back facing a window while you're facing a camera. All we're gonna be able to see is a dark shape of you. But do use natural lighting as much as possible. If natural lighting is impossible, say you're shooting at night or something, get yourself some $5 clamp lights and some daylight compact fluorescent bulbs. This is my setup, super low budge. Another thing that works really good for this is Chinese paper lanterns. They create a really nice natural lighting effect and double as decor. Can't beat that. Sound tips. Before you start shooting your entire video, do some tests to see if the microphone volume needs to be turned up or turned down. Also, try to have the place to yourself and make sure to close all your windows. You want to minimize background noise as much as possible. Pretty much if you can hear it, so can the camera microphone. If your camera doesn't have a volume control, try to get as close as possible. Not like this close, but definitely close enough so we can hear you. On camera talent tips. Being on camera can definitely be intimidating at first, but the more you're just yourself, the more people are going to be able to relate to you. With that said, it does help to have a script or an outline of some sort, especially if you're trying to fit into a certain time constraint or are doing a how-to style video like this one. Camera tips. Since you're just starting out, there's no need to go out and invest in a crazy expensive camera right off the bat. There's plenty of inexpensive cameras that'll get the job done just fine. Even your computer camera will work great if you're just wanting to talk and stuff. I use my iPhone to vlog all the time. The footage you're seeing right now is being shot on a DSLR, which is a, a higher end camera. I actually have the lower end of the camera, which is a Canon T2i. Again, don't go out and invest in a fancy camera right away. Test out your skills some, make a couple videos, and if this is something you're really passionate about doing, that's when you want to get a little bit nicer of a camera. Editing tips. I've been using Final Cut Pro since the beginning of my video making career. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a free copy of it back in the day, and if you can get your hands on a free copy of it, do it. Some other free editing software is Wax and Avid DV, but with all these programs and interfaces, it's going to take some playing around to really get used to it. You're not going to be a ninja editor your first go around, so don't be so hard on yourself. And, you know, as with most things in life, the more you practice, the better you're going to become. Uploading tips. Alright, now you're ready to upload your video. You want to make sure your title's catchy, you have thoughtful tags, and the description of the video has all the keywords that represent your video. If you're trying to become YouTube famous or make your living off of YouTube, you have to read the YouTube playbook that YouTube has put together for all of us to peruse. You can find it at youtube.com slash playbook. Read it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around the interwebs.